Hey, how's it going? My name is Jack Lucero. I am an incoming medical student starting this fall at George Washington University. With my semester about to begin and the application cycle coming to its end, I wanted to share my application and maybe help some of you out there. So I know a lot of you are gonna to wanna to know my stats and I'm going to do an in-depth review of my entire AMCAS application. But if you want the spoilers, I got a 5.11 on my MCAT with a subsection score breakdown of 130, 125, 129, and 127. My overall GPA was a 3.47, my BCPM GPA was a 3.29, and my all other GPA was a 3.64. So if that's all you wanted, thanks for watching, but if you wanna see the full breakdown of my application, stick around and we'll get to it right now. All right, so we're gonna jump right in, starting with my grades. And the first one you see here is that C minus. So my freshman year, I was not planning on going to medical school. I was thinking maybe law school or maybe business school, I just wasn't really sure. So my freshman year, I did not care a whole lot about my grades. I didn't do awful, but it wasn't I mean, anything spectacular. In fact, my first semester at the end, my GPA was actually a 296. So that did not help when I eventually decided to go to medical school, which happened in my sophomore year. So there was this two year gap right here, and that is because I served a two year mission for my church. And when I came back, that's when I decided, okay, I wanna do medical school. So that's when the science classes started and there was a big turnaround in grades. One other thing I wanna mention is that with all these, I never got a single A in any of my science classes. Um, and I had another C, a C plus right here in my first semester of OCHEM. So it really just shows you that your grades are just one part of your application and they're not going to just tank you right away. And so if you've had a couple bad classes, it's all right. You can make it up with some other things, um, but it's not the end of the world. Uh, then those last two years, uh, nothing really to mention other than that. I just finished up there. So now, moving on to the actual breakdown of my grade point average. So as you can see right here, freshman year GPA, pretty low, 317. Uh, and then I turned it around and had that upward trend that admissions committees sometimes look for. The science GPA still was not great, ended up with a 329, definitely below average. And then my all other was all right at a 36. My MCAT, I got a 511, like I said. And here's the breakdowns. This 125 here on the car, not great. Wasn't super happy with that. But I was taking M my MCAT during the pandemic and my test day actually got moved twice. And so maybe that had an effect on me, not sure, but it is what it is. And in the end, it is enough to get me into medical school. So now into my experiences. This first one, shadowing. I'm not sure if I put this first or if it just shows up like this. Uh, but I did not have a lot of shadowing hours and I did lose some with the COVID shutdown and I mentioned that in my description, um, but it's always good to have as much shadowing as you can. Now this is a, a big error right here with this volunteering experience. I marked it as medical clinical, however, it was not medical clinical. And I don't know if that gave me some red flags with admissions committees, because you can obviously tell from the description it's not. Maybe they thought I was trying to like sneak it past them or something. I wasn't, I just missed it, and I didn't realize it until long after I had submitted. Um, so make sure you're very detail-oriented when you're going through your activities and you don't mark anything wrong. Now with this internship, I marked it as my first most meaningful experience. It was in Washington, D.C., and it was a health policy internship. And George Washington University has a focus on health policy, and so this could have definitely helped in uh, my acceptance there. Now this teaching assistant, uh, nothing to really note here other than that this 7,000 hours I might have just put zero, might have been better, um, but I ended up just doing that. And again, that is just what it is. 
Uh, this AEI, the American Enterprise Institute, is a think tank based in Washington, D.C., and they also have a focus on just public policy in general. So this gave me another kind of focus on policy, health policy, and so that could have stood out at uh, an admissions committee. Then uh, this last most meaningful is my missionary service that lasted for two years and that also was in Washington, D.C. So I had a few things that connected me to the area um, here in D.C. Uh, and George Washington, so that was probably very helpful. Um, and again, a two-year thing, I wasn't sure what to do with the hours. Probably should have just put zero, um, but I just ended up going with what I thought uh, was best. Then to round out the activities, I just have some hobbies and stuff that I wanted to put on here uh, that I thought kind of just show who I am. So now in this, uh, my personal statement, I begin talking about that 296 GPA. That could be a good thing, it could be a bad thing. Um, I ended up doing it because it was how I wanted to tell this story of me going to medical school. So I'm not gonna read this. If you want, feel free to pause it and, and read it. However, one thing I will mention is I didn't change any names of people that I mentioned, and I should have. Um, so that's why I blacked them out here. So just make sure if you're using stories and you should uh, change the names of, of people in your stories. My letters of recommendation, I ended up getting five. Uh, three of them were from my university and then two others were just personal. Uh, I didn't use them all at every school, but I applied to 23 different schools and then of those 23, I received 17 secondaries. Now looking at my school list, it's not very good. Uh, I should have done a lot more research into the schools I was applying to. I focused on the MSAR and my stats and where I think I would fit in or something like that, uh, or where I wanted to end up. Uh, but those are not good things to look at for your school list. Um, so yeah, this was another thing I, I wish I would have done differently. Um, but yeah, so of those 23, I received uh, 22 secondaries, and then of those 22, I completed 17 of them, and then from those 17, I got one interview at George Washington, and that was my one acceptance. So there you have it, that's my full AMCAS application. The things I wanted to highlight again are that I ended up with a couple C's, and I never received a single A in one of my science classes, and I was still able to get accepted. So again, even if you have some bad grades, don't let that uh, turn you away from med school because there's a lot of other things that the committees are going to look at and it's still possible to get in. So thanks for watching.